it's cheating. There's no other word for it. It is absolutely cheating. So don't buy an e-bike kids, buy a proper bike. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that. I'm on the top of Dartmoor with no, no way of pedalling off. So I'm 68 miles in to my e-bike journey and uh, day one obviously well not obviously because I'm going to show this first day one went really really terribly I took the bike that bike which I assumed is an MTB so it's going to be fine on and I wanted to give it a really good test so I took it to somewhere on Dartmoor that's notorious for being difficult I took it to the Dartmoor Killer Loop. Now, it lived up to its name that day because seven kilometers in, the free hub on the back wheel, I'm not bike minded, but I'm sure some of you are. You'll know what a free hub is. It's the thing that lets the wheel spin backwards, but not forwards, or spin forwards when you're not pedaling. It's a little bit of magic engineering that's inside the bike that us no normal people don't ever need to know anything about. Um, that broke seven kilometers in. Uh, I was really annoyed, um, but quite chill about it. Went back to the shop. They were fantastic. The, they had it less than 24 hours, phoned me up, said they found the fault and it was a manufacturing fault. Um, I have since read the manual and it does say not to not to take this bike on anything that isn't flat and smooth. I only read the manual today after 60 odd miles <clears throat> and um, I was a little disappointed. Um, it looks like a mountain bike, it looks like a mountain bike. I assumed it was a mountain bike. Now I, I knew it wasn't high end, so I knew I couldn't absolutely rag it down the red runs and stuff like that. I did put it through its paces on day one and um, I got what I deserved, I think. So, for what I need it for, which is going back and forth to work, it's a 23 mile there and back trip, all on roads, absolutely fantastic. It takes me a 30, it's a 30 minute drive and a 45 minute cycle, so fabulous. Um, saving me, about seven pounds a day so this bike genuinely is going to pay for itself uh, over the course of a year it was 900 pounds uh, i used a code bike 10 at go outdoors it's not a special code to me or it, i just found it online i think i found it on their website uh, it doesn't automatically get applied you do have to go into the store and say i'd like to use bike 10 uh, and then they'll they'll take 10 percent off the bike there so i got it for 900 pounds uh, I'm super happy with it. My wife's got one too. My wife had one before me. She's really happy with hers. She zips back and forwards to the hospital where she works on hers. Um, she hasn't got a taxi sit to work since she's got this bike. It's fab. I still don't like the brakes. But other than that, 68 miles I've done on it. I love it. So today I am, I don't know if you can see the screen, it's one of those screens that you can only see from certain ways. Um, I'm at 67 miles into my e-bike life. A very rocky start, but now I am loving it. Cruising along the canal path, 15 miles an hour, the motor is just giving about 185, 250 watts of assist. Uh, if I speed up, there's that heron again. Hello, mister. 
if I speed up above 15 miles an hour the assist stops so you are absolutely still getting a workout if you're a fast rider your motor's not going to kick in very often So this is the Vitesse Pulse <clears throat> and I've brought it out for my first ever ride. I've not ridden this at all yet and I'm going to take it for its first time on the Dartmoor Killer Loop going up against, although there's no competition. <laughs> What's, what bike's this? Trek Fuel X8. The Trek Fuel X8. <clears throat> On a ser with a serious cyclist who has the fitness of a good 20 year old an excellent 20 year old sorry yes Garmin says I am just the average 20 year old's fitness but I've got 36 volts of power with me today it is sold as an MTB so this killer loop is going to prove or disprove that very quickly God, I wouldn't have been able to do this on a standard. Goodness. So we're going right up here. Right, let's see what it's like up this hill on top whack. Oh my goodness. It's too easy. Look at this big hill. Look, one hand. The gears are shot on this thing. It's going to have to go to a shop or back to the shop. But that is incredibly easy. I'm going to take it off five because we've got a long way to go today. And I want to make sure, even in two, it's flying up this hill. It's using 555 watts of assist at the moment. 
it's cheating. There's no other word for it. It is absolutely cheating. 13 kilometers an hour. I feel bad for my friend, but he's fit, he's healthy, and he's happy. He's out on Dartmoor on a gorgeous day. What more can you ask? Seven kilometers in, I've, I've got mixed, mixed feelings about the Vitesse Pulse. I think the bike, and this is just a, I've done six kilometers, I've done some really savage off-road, downhill, uphill, road, the tires. I never swear on my channel, I never try to. The tires are appalling. I'm not gonna swear. They are, but they, they are swearable tires. They'll be fine for, for taking me to work on, on the road. Um, the gears, there's something wrong with the gears. Um, how the bike's been put up in the shop. It needs, it needs tweaking. Um, the brakes are okay, they're not great. Uh, you have to put them on a little bit before you need them on, which isn't a great thing for brakes. But I'm not being too negative. I think it's going to be okay. Um, <laughs> I love the fact that I'm waiting for a guy who can piss, oh, can steam past me in, if I want a normal bike. But I, I like it, I love it. This, it makes a, a, a horrible noise that's really annoying me at the moment. Um, but these are things that can get I can get sorted out with a, a technician or I can learn to do I'll get on YouTube and I'll, I'll learn to do it myself but because I only bought the bike yesterday I am going to take it back to the shop and say look it's making a crunching sound when you pedal the gears are slipping all over the place uh, it does come with a six-week checkup for when the cables and stuff stretch um, but I think this is going to need a six kilometer checkup rather than a six-week checkup but it's early days. Oh, horsies! These tyres, though, not great. Good morning. But I'm pleased that I am still getting a, a workout. And it isn't just doing it all for me. The bit for your wheel isn't much wider than your wheel. We are on track. No, we're not. Back we go. You're saying that way. The path keeps disappearing, so we headed for this little stone, and that is the path, as you can see there. It's not easy to see. So don't buy an e-bike, kid. Buy a proper bike. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with that. I'm on the top of Dartmoor with no no way of pedaling so off. The wheel, the pedals spin, nothing happens. The chain's on. Um, yeah, back to go outdoors after a nice walk on Dartmoor.
it's dead. The Dartmoor Killer Loop has lived up to its name. Five and a half miles, two of which we walked. <laughs> Not impressed. Not impressed at all. And as I say, we walked the really difficult bits and the motor just went, not the motor, the whatever the clutch went on one of the easy bits. <sighs> shocking. But is it really shocking? I don't know. I sort of, I don't, I don't know. I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed. And now I'm walking a 22 kilogram bike five miles back to the car. But I won't be able to freewheel it down the hills. So I'm having to just ride the bike on. So the, the pedals are doing nothing. They're just spinning. They're not engaging anything, but they are making the motor switch on. So I'm able to get back to the car and back to go outdoors which I'm sure is going to be fine. I know they haven't got another one in stock, unfortunately. So it looks like I'll be driving to work tomorrow. Uh. And we are back at the car. I am so disappointed. A day full of promise. And I didn't quite get a plan. So this little beauty is going back to go outdoors. But this isn't how I wanted to end today. I think we did 11 or 12 kilometers in the end. But as I say, we pushed it for a lot of that because it was, just, it was unrideable. Um, so even my, my mate who's like a proper MTBer, um, just wasn't doable. Too, too bumpy, too uphill. These tires. When I get when I get a, a bike that's working, I'm going to upgrade the tyres straight away. These are terrible. Even on moss on the road, they're spinning. <sighs> Could be better. Will be better. I might go outdoors. Got the bike back. Um, it was at Go Outdoors for less than 24 hours. It's now Wednesday. This was the problem. This is the flywheel. So it's designed to go backwards, but when you pedal, it's supposed to lock, so it turns the wheel. This one goes forwards and backwards. And the gentleman at Go Outdoors said he's, he's never seen one go so quickly they're normally very robust this one was a factory dud so to speak and they've upgraded me to a shimano flywheel uh, all in the warranty obviously because it's less than 24 hours old i'm very happy that was the problem now it's solved so i'm going to finish the video i'm riding to work tomorrow 20 odd miles and i will finish the video when I've done a fair bit of riding on the bike because I want to build that trust back up. See you soon.